Today we're replacing the on-off switch on a small Honda engine and the part number. There are various switches on the market. Check the link in the description for this one. To start, make sure your engine is cool and then remove the spark plug wire and boot from your spark plug. Turn off the fuel valve, either by hand or with a flathead screwdriver. Try open the wire retainer. Now disconnect the two leads of the old switch assembly. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell where to pull. If you look at the yellow wire coming out, you're going to pull this upper end. You should be able to kind of see a little separation there. It's a little difficult. But that's going to pull out of the top and then it's the opposite of this black wire coming out. That's going to pull out closest to the wire. So now to remove the engine shroud, this may vary depending on which model of engine you have, but you should be looking for 10 millimeter bolts and they're going to be on the outside of the shroud, not these ones for example. You don't remove these. Also, just be aware that there's a fuel line that may be attached to the shroud, so just make sure that you don't pull that loose. Alright, so I've just got the fuel line out of the way so I can get to that back bolt. And then the shroud. Watch that fuel line. Now on the inside of the switch, pry up that ground tab. Remove the old switch. To put in the new switch, you'll see there's a little tine sticking up here. So line that up. There's a slot right here on the new switch. So you line those up and push it in. Now on some switches, you're going to do the opposite of how you took it off where you bent this ground tab up. At this stage, you'd want to bend the ground tab back down. My new switch doesn't have a ground tab, it's got a ground wire. So that I'm going to attach with the shroud bolts. I've got my bolts on loosely except for this last one and this is where I'm going to attach my ground. Now I'm going to put it rather than on the outside of the shroud, I'm going to put it between the shroud and the, the mount for the gas tank here because then I have a surface that's not painted. So I've got it in between. Now I'll tighten everything down. Now carefully putting the gas line back in the clip. So my wiring is a little different than the original. The original I had a yellow coming out from the switch and then a black from that. On the new switch I've got a black coming out of the switch and a yellow from that so it's reversed. Another way to look at it is your male and your female because there's only one way that it will go together. So for example, out of your switch it's going to be a female and then the one that comes off of that is a male. So here we have a female 
and here we have a male. So out of the switch, female to male. Okay, that's what this is for. Female to male. And then the one that comes off of that connection, I have male to female. to reattach the wire harness. Replace the spark plug wire. And turn on the fuel valve. Like and subscribe and leave a comment if your engine is different and you have some tips for that specific engine. Thank you for watching.